Good afternoon. I'm Scott Ullery, City Manager for the City of Rockville. And before I introduce uh, Mayor Marcuccio, I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome you, Senator Cardin, on behalf of the City Administration. Thank you so much for coming down here today. Um, this plant has been here uh, since 1958. Over the years, we've had many, many upgrades and improvements. And um, thanks to you um, and uh, others in the Senate and Congress, we uh, were able to uh, get $1.7 million in stimulus funding uh, to do some significant improvements here to improve the efficiency and effectiveness of our plant. And we want to thank you so much for your assistance, not only with this plant, but with so many other things for the city of Rockville uh, over the years. And um, you did drive in today, and we have our public works directors in the back room doing a supplemental request for our road. Oh, so we'll be, we'll be giving that to you a little bit later. You got our attention. <laughs> That's the real reason we brought you down here. So with that, I'd like to introduce Mayor Marcuccio. Thank you, Scott. And welcome, everyone, to the Rockville Water Treatment Plant. It's a wonderful facility. I live right across the street from where we used to get our water, in the old pump house of the city of Rockville. And I can remember hearing those pumps hum and go in and out of sync every once in a while. It was very nice when they finally shut them down. <laughs> and welcome to you, Senator Cardin. We are delighted to have you here today. I'd like to announce a few of the other folks that are here. Uh, I have two council members here from the city of Rockville, Bridget Newton and Peter Gajewski. Uh Our director of public works, er, uh, Craig Simino, is in the back there. Uh, Linda Moran, who is on our staff and helps us with all our legislation, legislative activities. And of course, Ken Riker, who is, stands in frequently for Senator Cart. Uh, this is a, an especially important event for us because we haven't had the opportunity to celebrate this place quite as much as we'd like. Uh, the city actually, as Scott mentioned, there was $1.7 million that was put into this from federal funding. Uh, the city also put another 539000 of its own money into improving this plant. It is extremely valuable to the city. It serves 46,000 residents and 700 businesses, so it is essential to the city. And today this, the plant actually treats up to 8 million gallons of water per day. And I'm sure our senator is going to tell us more about it and have some suggestions for us. I'd like to introduce our senator, Senator Ben Cardin from Maryland. Thank you. Mayor Marcuccio, first of all, thank you very much for your hospitality. This has been my week with the mayor. She visited me in, in Washington this week, and I thank you very much for your hospitality to the members of the council that are here. We very much appreciate working together on uh, programs that are important for Maryland. And Scott, let me just correct one thing. It was 1,745,000. I think you left the 45,000 off. We're, every dollar is important. We're going to make sure we get the exact number out from the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. It was 121 million that came to the state of Maryland under the uh, American Reinvestment and Recovery Act. And this is the, the one year anniversary. And I, I mention that because what's being done here is important for the people of Rockville to have safe drinking water for a community that's still growing and needs to be, have the reliability of safe drinking water. I think most people who live in Rockville sort of take it for granted that they can turn on their spigots and get water. Well, the mayor and council have to make sure, in fact, that's a reality. And the steps that are being taken here will guarantee that that water will be there not only today but tomorrow. Uh, this project invests in our community as the Recovery Act was intended to do. First and foremost, it's jobs. It's jobs. 31 jobs are involved in the investment here in this Rockville facility, 31. But the Conference of Mayors tells us that for every dollar, every job that's created directly, there are three more jobs that are created. So we're really talking about more than 31. For every dollar that's spent on water projects, we increase our gross domestic product by $6. So this is involving improving the economy of our region. We know how important water projects are 
to Montgomery County and to the state of Maryland. We remember River Road when it was a river. We've got to invest in the infrastructure in our community. If we're going to be able to continue to grow, if we're going to deal with the environmental issues, we need to do a better job. Now, what is being done here? This is a 1958 facility. Its footprint goes back to 1958. And it's a very important facility, obviously, for the people of Rockville. But what is being done here is to make it efficient from the point of view of energy use. I'm told that it will save as much as fifty to seventy-five thousand dollars a year in energy bills when this is completed. Now that's a big savings, but it also will help us with an energy policy for our nation that will be the right type of way to deal with America's future. We're investing in our future, not just in safe drinking water, but also on an energy policy that makes sense for the people of America. That's the type of investments. Now, I want to thank the Obama administration. I had the honor of chairing the Water and Wildlife Subcommittee on the Environment and Public Works Committee. It's our committee's responsibility to take a look at America's needs, not just on safe drinking water, but how we treat our waste. And quite frankly, we needed to do a much better job. When President Obama took office, he made a commitment to do something about it. In the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act, the dollars that are made available for water projects are three times greater than what the annual appropriation was. The annual budgets now are about twice to three times what they were before uh, President Obama took office. Every dollar of these appropriations are being spent. The backlog is so great. And we saw the consequences with water main breaks, uh, not just in you know, on River Road. We've had many in the state of Maryland and around our nation. We need to do a much better job. So we're investing in it. I introduced legislation, bipartisan legislation, that was approved by our committee that will authorize the state revolving funds at much higher levels, three times what their current authorized levels are, because we need to make these investments in America's future. So I want to congratulate the leadership of Rockville for recognizing that they need to modernize their facilities to meet the current and future needs of the people of Rockville. I think what's being done here will make a major difference. You'll have reliable service, and that's what the people expect, and you're going to be able to deliver. I'm glad that we could be of help. I want to acknowledge this couldn't have been done but for the work of our entire congressional delegation. I want to acknowledge Senator Barbara Mikulski, the dean of our delegation, who has really focused us on these types of projects, and Congressman Chris Van Hollen from this region, and Donna Edwards, both of whom have been leaders on the types of investments to make America stronger, but also to, to get us out of this current recession. And with that, Madam Mayor, uh, let me uh, see if there's any comments or questions that people want to raise. Otherwise, I think we're going to go on a, a tour of the facility. Is there any questions? Good. We can then go out in the cold. Let me know. Okay. I'll turn it over to the presenter. Thank you, Senator Cardin. It's, it's a great thrill to be here. My name is Rebecca Water, and I am president of American Rivers. That's Rebecca Water, American Rivers. So not to get that confused. Um, and we are here, we're thrilled to be here today in order to present our River Champion Award to Senator Cardin. It's a great, great honor. This award recognizes members of Congress who through their exceptional leadership have made a significant difference to rivers of this country and to the clean water resources that all of us depend upon for our health, for our safety, for our jobs, for our quality of life. And Senator Cardin has been an absolutely tremendous supporter for Maryland's rivers and streams and really for the clean water all across the country. We so appreciate it. So we are presenting uh, the award, our River Champion Award, to you for your efforts to increase funding for clean water through green infrastructure and water efficiency in the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act, as well as new funding to help communities get ready for the changes that we will all be facing as a result of climate changes. 
Your leadership during the crafting of the stimulus bill was critical to, do, to ensure that not only was funding dedicated to improving our water infrastructure, but that also that 20% of that funding would be set aside for green projects uh, that are so important with, uh, in, in terms of updating our nation's outdated water infrastructure systems, uh, cost-effective solutions, green solutions, and American Rivers is very pleased to have had a chance to work with you to reach this success. A total of $6 billion for water infrastructure was included in the stimulus bill. And for Maryland, this was, as you mentioned, $95 million for clean water and $26 million for drinking water. And this money is already being put to good use, not only here at the Rockville Treatment Plant, but just to mention a couple of other examples. The city of Edmonston received over a million dollars to retrofit uh, local streets by adding trees, uh, rain gardens, permeable paving. Together this creates what we call a green street that will naturally treat more than 90% of the stormwater pollution from the street while also reducing flooding and creating shade and easing traffic. The city of Baltimore received more than $2 million to help home homeowners retrofit old appliances with new water efficient models and this will save both water and energy. And as a third example, the stimulus funded a number of living shoreline projects that will restore wetlands and this will help protect clean water and also safeguard our homes and businesses and communities from the effects of rising sea levels and flooding. Senator, we also want to thank you uh, for recognizing that uh, our rivers and streams are already experiencing the impacts of a ch changing climate, things like increased floods and droughts. And thanks to your leadership, there's now a provision in the Senate version of the climate bill that provides funding to help rivers and river communities prepare for the impacts of climate change. And last but not least, we also want to thank you for leading the effort to set an enforceable cleanup timeline for the Chesapeake and its tributary rivers, which is a critical step to restoring the bay. So all in all, your hard work in the halls of Congress have been invaluable to creating new jobs, saving money, saving energy, and ensuring that our great river resources will be healthy for years and years to come, even in the face of climate change. On behalf of American Rivers and our 65,000 members and supporters nationwide, we want to thank you and congratulate you. Thank you very much. I want to show you. Oh, this is the award, and it is a photograph of the Patapsco River, uh, which is actually another river that's benefiting from the stimulus bill. Uh, we have a $4 million grant at American Rivers to take out two dams on this river and make it a beautiful resource for people who want to recreate in and along the river. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Let me just say one word, if I might. First of all, let me thank uh, American Rivers for what they're doing, and thank you very much for, for this honor. I appreciate it very much. Our, our rivers and streams are critically important to our environment here. We, we spent a lot of time talking about the Chesapeake Bay. But if we don't deal with our rivers and streams, we are not going to be able to be successful in our Bay program. We talk a lot about the water projects here, whether it's drinking water or how we deal with waste. And if we don't do a better job on wastewater treatment, we're not going to be able to succeed on the Chesapeake Bay. So this all comes together in programs that affect the quality of our life. You know, we all just love our streams, we love our rivers. They're critically important to the health of our environment. And uh, the, your organization has made a, such a difference. And it's a pleasure to work with you. It's a pleasure to be involved in, on these issues. Uh, we're making progress. We have more we need to do. Uh, we're pleased that the Recovery Act could be used to invest in our streams, to, address, to, to invest in our environment. And uh, we need to get uh, the climate change bill done for many, many reasons, not the least of which so that we can enjoy uh, the uh, beautiful environment that we cherish here and want to make sure that our children and grandchildren uh, can inherit it in a better shape than, than, than we have it today. Thank you. Thank you very much.